for watching Morning in the Mountains on Mountain Fun Life. I'm Frank Murphy. Today I get to speak with Christine White, who is the Development Director for Catholic Charities of East Tennessee. Christine, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. It's good to see you again. Thank you for coming over. Now, Catholic Charities of East Tennessee, of course, you, when you say Catholic Charities, worldwide is a thing, and all around the nation. And here in East Tennessee, it's somewhat unusual because the Catholic population is really very small. However, anyone of any uh, religious background or atheist, it doesn't matter, can be served by Catholic charities. And in fact, most of the people you serve are not Catholic. Absolutely. Just based on the demographics of this area of East Tennessee alone, we estimate that less than 5% of the people that we serve are actually Catholic. Additionally, we have a ton of people on our leadership team as well as staff that aren't Catholic as well. Right, but they're about serving others, which is really Absolutely. the mission of Catholic Charities. So let's talk about that. When um, you've got so many great programs through Catholic Charities of East Tennessee, helping those who were formerly homeless, helping those who were formerly uh, drug addicted or mentally ill or in a crisis situation, whether they're, you know, it's a baby or, or, or a teenager even up to age 17, right? Absolutely, yeah. The interesting thing about Catholic Charities is, you know, people often ask, what is it that you do? And I ask, how much time do you have? Yeah. Simply, it starts from conception. So pregnant moms and, and dads navigating unexpected pregnancies to what should be the golden years of life. We offer a shelter. It's actually only one of eight in the entire country where we serve senior citizens age 60 or better. Is that Samaritan place? Absolutely, yeah. that are facing homelessness and it's emergency, transitional, and permanent housing for these senior citizens all under one roof. Mm -hmm. And one of eight of those is actually right here in East Tennessee. It's fantastic. Eight nationwide. Now also yeah. you have a program in Sevier County because we're here, you know, at the Mountain Fun Life Channel in Pigeon Forge, and it's the uh, Columbus Home Assisting Parents Program mm -hmm. is in Pigeon Forge, or excuse me, in Sevier County. Yes. Now, Columbus Home is for children in trouble. I mean, it's a, it's a crisis located deliberately near the juvenile court, right? Right, absolutely. So basically, the easiest way to describe what the children's shelter does it's is... It's just in Knoxville, near the court. Yes. If mom and dad are pulled over in the middle of the night, and they're found to be intoxicated or under the influence of drugs, and there's a child in that back seat. Mm -hmm. When mom and dad are arrested, where does that child go? And well, the answer is they come to us at the children's emergency right, shelter. So the judge can just say, you're going across the parking lot over there. Absolutely. And they're, that way they're not in state's custody until you can find Aunt Granny or someone right. to take care of them. The goal is to keep the children out of foster, hair, foster care for yeah. as long as possible. Wonderful. And oftentimes right. that's looking at a neighbor or a relative that is qualified to take these children under their care. Now, CHAP, Columbus Home Assisting Parents in Sevier County, is an offshoot of that, but it's not in the facility, it's at home. It's at home, right. So the, our Columbus Home Assisting Parents Program, or CHAP, what our caseworkers do is respond to crises in the home. And that could be something wow. as simple as, um, I I'm running behind on my utilities and I'm feeling some financial pressure and I don't know how to provide for my child yeah. basic needs. Mm -hmm. Or it can be, I'm, I'm a recovering alcoholic and I'm navigating the challenges of par wow. parenting, how can you help? So really the goal of the CHAP program is to help families families directly at home navigating some of those crisis points so that they never need the service of the Children's Emergency Shelter. Oh, wow. Yeah, because do it at home. It's sort of an ounce of prevention. That's really good. Absolutely. So the ultimate mission of Catholic Charities is to serve whoever needs help. Definitely, yeah. We offer shelter, we offer educational programs, we offer low-cost counseling, we have legal services for immigrants. It's, it's an incredible plethora of programs servicing everybody at almost every well, crisis point you can think touch of. Touch on the legal services again, sure. because you know we have, of course here in Silver County, a lot of people come here to work. Right and then they may need to get their paperwork taken care of. Absolutely, so we offer three Office of Immigrant Services throughout East Tennessee and do often kind of hit the road for citizenship workshops, yeah. but we help folks that are legally eligible for citizenship navigate what is quite often a very overwhelming legal system. Lots of folks are eligible, they just simply don't know where to begin, and right. that's where Catholic Charity steps in. The website is ccetn.org, this is your fancy new logo. Yes. <laughs> and I know you've got some fundraisers coming up, including a very fun evening 
usually around St. Patrick's Day. This year it's what, March 5th? It is March 5th. It's our um, annual dinner. We're very excited, obviously, for our new logo. So it's <laughs> going to have a new feel to it this year. Um, but what we're most excited for is we are actually accepting nominations now, if you go to ccetn.org, of local community groups that would like to either nominate themselves or if you know someone in the community that will receive our Pope Francis Service to the Poor Award. So we're very well excited for the nomination factor of this year's event. It's going to feel kind of like an Acad Academy Award. Very good. Well, Christine White, thank you so much much for coming by and I know you can come back again when there's more events to talk about Absolutely. like the Kids Helping Kids Fun Walk in May yeah. but right now it's the uh, March 5th dinner. Excellent. Thank you so right. much. CCETN.org, Christine White, Development Director for Catholic Charities of East Tennessee. You're watching Morning in the Mountains on Mountain Fun Life. I'm Frank Murphy. More of the show right after this.